Welcome back guys to another audiobook with Feb. This is Deadpool issue number 14. It was uh, uh, published August 26, 2009. The writer is still Daniel Way, probably will be through the whole series, but the penciler is Sean Crystal. Alright, let's begin. Is this really necessary? Sorry Captain, Mr. Wilson's orders. All crew members must be in uniform. Ah, look at me. I mean, oh, oh, geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'm used to it. And if wearing this gets up, get up, means your mercenary friend will save the island from those pirates, then it's worth it, I guess. So, do I look as comfortable as I feel? Wave of Mutilation. Part 2, Surrender the Bootay. Psst. Hey, Bob. Check it out. Don't look, but that chick over there has been giving me the sexy face ever since we I walked in. Who? Oh? I said not to. Um. That's a mannequin, Captain. Mr. Wilson. Yeah, I know. I've been thinking about asking her to join the, my crew. Think that'll make her... What's her name? Jealous? Really? Me too? We have so much in common. <sighs> Captain Mr. Wilson, sir. Rock! We'd uh, get to the ship a lot faster if we used the motor. Is she looking? Because I... Kalini, she's blind, sir. She, but my ears work just fine, thank you. Hey, no, not the stick again, rock. Where the hell's my ship? Are you asking me? Yes. Gee, maybe the pirates took it because that's what pirates do. Okay, sassy pants navigator. Who's supposed to know this island better than anybody? Let's say your little theory is true. Where would they take it? Mm, if I had to guess, I'd probably say a pirate's cove. This is the reddest pirate ship ever. Captain Whackham Beards, there's... Oh, God, I'm sorry, but there's uh, something you need to see below deck. Click. Okay. Shoot him. Bam! So, what is it I need to... Holy... Uh, oh, many of them. All of them, Captain. Full. All those years. All the taunting about my inability to grow a proper beard. Well... How you like me now? Obviously, you're scurvy, dogs. We made the fearful mistake, oh, commanding, or commandeering the vessel belonging to Captain Mr. Wilson, also known as Deadpool. What? Also known as the Scourge. Oh, the. Oh, the. Seven. Oh, seven seas, prepare to be boarded. Captain, vessel approaching. Hmm. So that could be the. Scourge old pool, I take it. I was thinking he wants a ship back. I'm thinking that's not gonna happen. Let's see what this tub can do. Is it working? What the plan? Is it working? Ah, uh, what the hell? Again. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. Yeah, I know. She's really something, huh? Yep, it's working. I'll take that and swing. Boot to the face. Ah, uh, leg get it on. Pirate style. I see. So we want to play this the hard way. Hard way. But we have guns. 
Here's the bad news. But here's the good news. Now you can get hook hands. Arr. Not you though. You get one liner. One liner time. Make it good. Yeah, cool action moments like this totally hinge on an equally cool one liner. Dead hands. What? Lame. Ready for some more good news? I'm gonna let you guys live. Um, why? Why? Because you're gonna spread the word so far and wide that the land of Jalarka is now officially a no pirate zone by the order of the raddest pirate to ever. Sorry to cut you off. See? Now that's a good one liner. Oh, I'm sorry, did you have plans for that leg? Yeah, kicking your ass. Judges? Uh, it's close, but see, it doesn't really work because we're basically saying that. Now that our leg is cut off, we can't kick his ass as planned. Yeah, but I have another leg. Historically, one-legged men haven't fared well in ass-kicking contest. Good one, good one. Are you talking to me? No, De Niro, I'm not. Okay, boys, you each got one good hand. How about using them to pick up those guns and... Whoosh. Mutiny! Yep, and here's the kicker. See how I did that? How I tied it up? Tied it all up and made it work. Yes, but... What we should have been trying up... What? Our femoral artery. Smack. What is that? That taste. Is that corn chips? <clears throat> it worked. Oh, fuck. Bob, did you give me mouth to mouth? Well, um, the bleeding had stopped, but you still weren't breathing, so I figured. Okay, gotta barf now. How long was I? Hold on. Wah. How long was I out? Maybe two hours? What did I miss? Uh, um. Take the wheel. Colony. Maybe two hours ago. I'll deal with these pirates, gum. Aw, oh, man. Faster, Colony. Faster. We gotta get the hell out of here. Not much. Cool. And speaking of cool, where are we? Why do you keep asking me questions like that? I'm blind. Why are you walking with a cane? Thump, thump, thump. Uh, peg leg? How pirate is that? Depends, it depends. Is it toilet plunger? Nope. Hey, Bob, did you happen to notice that Wagbeard's ship is chasing us? Actually, I was just about to mention that. Well, turn around the rig and let's go blow their faces off. With what? With guns, duh. Guns need bullets. We don't have any. We don't? Yeah, I uh, tried blowing their faces off earlier, but it didn't go so well. One hour and 50 minutes ago, and I decided it wouldn't be low deck to get more ammo. Well, there wasn't any because you dumped all of it out to make room for your gold. Yeah, I thought, I thought that decision might come back to haunt me. We do have that thought. We do have that, though. One torpedo. Well, yeah, Mr. Wilson. You're Mr. Wilson. If anyone can do it, you can. I appreciate the fawning, Bob, but torpedoes are really only effective against larger vessels. Blackbeard's ship is too small and too maneuverable. That basically is useless. Unless... Okay, we're in business. This looks familiar. Um, Mr. Wilson, with all due respect... This looks familiar. It's nothing but endless. Bob? You seem to be forgetting three very important things. One, I can do things that other people can't do. Two, I can see things other people can't see. And three, you're supposed to be talking like a parrot. Hey, I think we're out of fuel. They're out of fuel. Kill the engines keep us out of range of their guns. But, why don't we attack? We know that your gunner can't hit anything. 
and risk sinking them, the bullets loaded with more gold than the BET Music Awards, BET Music Awards. I'll be damned if I send it into the Bruni Depp. No, we'll give them a few hours to consider their situation, hail them over to the radio, and offer them a safe passage back to Jalarka in exchange for their cargo. You think they'll actually go for it, that? That they'll believe us? Why not? They're stupid. I don't know, that guy in the red. What if this is another trick? He's really gotten into your head, hasn't he? Look, this guy is a moron, a land lubbling amateur who's watched too many movies. Rock, torpedoes armed and loaded, Sarah, ready to roll. This is Captain Crunch we're dealing with here, not Captain Kirk. Oh, yeah, in that case. Fire! Something, is something supposed to be happening? Wait for it. Wait for what? Easiest way to explain would be a flashback. A days ago. I need a new boat. That nuclear sub you sold me, I took it down to the islands and uh, it sank. Best pirate ever! Destructive tsunami aside, hey, it got us back here, didn't it? And insurance should cover the damages. You did it. You saved Jarka from the pirates. Thank you. Any chance you giving up your seafaring ways and staying here with me? Uh, Bob, where's that damn uh, toilet plunger? I can't. I'm married. Oh. Can I give you a ride, Mr. Wilson? Nope. You're gonna have to make it there yourself, buddy. Ching. That ought to help. But what about you, Mr. Wilson? Don't know. I'm over the pirate thing and the mercenary thing and having more money than I'll ever be able to spend thing. Tell you the truth, I actually really liked knowing uh, liked now helping someone for once. It felt good. Maybe I'll do that next time. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of issue number 14. Uh, check back next week for issue number 15. Have a good one everybody.